What's going on guys? Welcome to Fallout 4. It's out. The long ass wait is finally over. And I the game the game is here. I'm guessing that a lot of you watching this already have the game. And I uh, hope you're having fun with it. Um so some people were saying that I should really record some Fallout 4. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. I wanna see how it works. Um I've been reading a lot of issues with the PC version. Um, I played a bit myself and I haven't really run into any issues, so I'm guessing it's gonna be fine. Um, but we're gonna start a new game and I'm just gonna have some fun with it. I do wanna say up front that this is not a guarantee though that, you know, I'm gonna do a full series on the game. Um, it's incredibly long. Uh, like I said, I already played a bit and I haven't even scratched the surface of, of scratching the surface. It's There's so much to this game. It's amazing uh, how big it is. And it's amazing by itself. It's just a, it's an amazing game. So I'm just gonna jump into it, and I'll just record for a bit. And as long as you guys enjoy it and I enjoy it, then I'll you know record some videos for it. So here we go. Let's start a new game. Yeah. My great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, so there we go. That's the intro. Now we get to create our character. Um, let's see. There's a lot of options for this. Um, there's several standard faces that you can use. A lot of them, actually. 
Um, all right, so I think I'll just go with this one. I'm not going to change too much. Because honestly, who wants to see me create a character for, you know, an hour or something? There's really a lot of depth into it. Um, I always felt that Fallout 3, it was, at least for me, it was impossible to actually create a character that looked okay. And in this game, oh wait, is that like a, okay, alpha male. I gotta say, so far, the hairstyles, I'm not a super big fan of most of them. Nine to five. That one looks kind of okay. All right, we'll go with nine to five. Makes you look younger. Thank you. And we'll just change the color to. Well, that looks kind of cool. I like the deep red one. That's really working for me. All right, so we'll change our facial hair as well. Let's see, broken razor. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh no. Honest Abe. They still have some of the same hairstyles that they did in uh, Fallout 3. Actually, a lot of them. Shenandoah. Hombra. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go with Sweet Mustache. <laughs> oh god. Alright, here we go. Um, all right, so extras, nope, body. So for the first time ever in Fallout, you can actually play as a fat guy. <laughs> I'm not sure why, you know, you'd want to do that, but obviously some people will want to. So I'm just going to go with a normal guy, and I'm going to say, you know what? Uh, I'm done with this one. Yep. I'm just going to leave it there. For those of you that have never played Fallout, usually you don't really uh, spend too much time looking at your character. Alright, so you can also change your wife's appearance. And you can play as the woman as well. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as is because I don't really care too much. And okay. This is our house where we live. It's a baby. So we got some sweet vacation pics. Uh, we got a nice American flag. Wait, what? Huh. It looks different from the flag that we know. I, I didn't even uh, notice that. Ah, broken again. Alright, watch this broken. Got a little radio camera. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. We really do. And as we look outside, we can see the, uh, the nice neighborhood. That apparently never moved on from the 50s. Alright, what else we got? There's probably some stuff to check out in here, maybe not. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Rule to perfection. And today's newspaper just I right, thank you, Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. I'm not really sure how hot that coffee really is. We don't use Fahrenheit over here, so I have no clue. But let's drink it. Grognak. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. All right, it's his favorite comic book. We got some uh, breakfast here. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of oh, sugar. Sound Thank you, Codsworth. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hmm. More of the same. Okay, I want to see what's in that newspaper now. Okay, can't really read it. Boston Bugle. At least we know we're in Boston that way. Some wine. It's a little early to be drinking. Is it, though? Is it really? Is there a clock anywhere? At what time is it okay to... Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. It's like uh, 10.30. The man's got a point. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Why? Salesman? Good morning. 
Voltec calling. Hey. Uh, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Um, urgency, I'm here now, not right now. Yeah, I'm just trying to have breakfast with my family. Get the hell out of here. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. No, <clears throat> you do. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Um, I know what that means. You know, get the hell out of here. Go away. Oh, yeah. It'll take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <coughs> total atomic annihilation. No, I'm just going to keep denying him. I want him to get out of here because I already know what happens when you say uh, yes, you know, like they, they show that to us like six months ago. So I'm going to say no, get out of here. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out and it's done. You're going to take his side? Really? I said no. I said no. And I'm saying yes. So there. Splendid. Oh, wow. Splendid. Let's get to it. Should have never married you. All right. So this is our special uh, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Uh, let's see. All right. Raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry and the damage of all melee attacks. Uh, perception is your environmental awareness and sixth sense and affects weapon accuracy in vats. Endurance affects your total health and the action point drain from sprinting. Charisma affects your success to persuade in dialogue and prices when you barter. Uh, mental acu acuity. I don't, I, I don't know that word at all. So mine is probably very low. And affects the number of experience points that you earn. Um, the number of action points in VATS and your ability to sneak. And then we got lock, which affects a uh, measure of your general good fortune and affects the recharge rate of critical hits. All right, so I'm not even sure what I want. You get 21 points to distribute, so you could get every stat up to about four. And then from there, you can basically make choices as to what is less important to you. Um, all right, so I'm going to drop perception to two, I think. Maybe three. Let's have it at three. Let's get endurance to three as well. Agility. Let's get that to. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get intelligence to two. I'm just going to go with sort of a random build. I have no idea if this is like the right way to go. But I'm just going to do it. Uh, all right. So I got five there. And then I want maybe four. Endurance? Does that seem like a good idea? Yeah. All right. I'm guessing a lot of people just go with four and everything because they're not really sure what's going on, but I think I'm just going to go with this for now. Um, so we have high or, well, somewhat okay charisma, agility, and high luck. Actually, you know what? Let's put one more in charisma instead. So high charisma and some good agility and luck. All right. That's what I want. Uh, name. What should I do for a name? I was thinking about this. I don't want to just use my own name. I basically want something that includes... The, it starts with the letter L. So that I can remember that this is my Let's Play character. And I was thinking, what names are there with an L? Uh, there's stuff like... Well, maybe like Lenny, but I was thinking Lester. Which would be funny because he has a, an ugly mustache. So, here we go. Let's see if it works. Wonderful. That's everything. Just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, yeah. Oh. Thanks again. Hey, I told you no. That's worth a little paperwork, right? No, you Were betrayed you me. Sean? No price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Oh. Wait, what's this? Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. 
I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. I was trying to rate my law diploma. I'm so proud of her. Oh, it's hers. Okay. I thought I was the smart. Actually, no, my intelligence is two. It's got to be hers. You're special. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. This is actually a book that you should recognize from Fallout 3 if you've played it. Um, but I feel like Fallout 4 is going to bring a lot of people into it that have never actually played the uh, the originals. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Toy car. <laughs> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. That's pretty nuts. All right, what's up, baby? Oh, my God, that's disgusting. Look at this baby. What a monster. All right, play with him. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Why are you okay? I'll do it. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. The park. Okay, so we could say sarcastic and do what? Watch TV instead or sounds fun? Yeah, let's be sarcastic. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom? You should come and see me. How is that sarcastic? What's wrong? What's your problem, Codsworth? Come on. Oh God! My God! I gotta save Codsworth. Oh my God! We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth, let's go. Stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir. Uh. All right, see ya. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, I, I'll see you again, Codsworth. This is not the end. Let's go, baby. There's bikes. That's cool. Hey. Hey there. Head down to the bridge. The vault is up the hill. Alright, gotcha. Let's go. Come on, we gotta get to safety. Hey, can I get, uh, get in? We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Um, okay. Look at this guy. He's got a nice suit. Come on, baby. We'll be okay. Screw the people out there. Okay, well, there's not a lot of people here. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh boy. That's not good. Hold on! Oh my god, look at that. And just like that, there we go. Into Vault 111. We did it. We made it. We're okay. We're safe. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. 
Bill Burr. Sorry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we hey just there. up the stairs. Yes, I'll proceed in an orderly fashion. If we left a minute later. What's up, overseer? No, you no, we don't. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Sweet mustache. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. You got that in common. Look at me. That guy looks weird. Oh god, look at this lady. Okay. Hello. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. This guy looks Down nice. The right there. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't the great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time. But vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. You'll thrive here. Did you have any family outside the city? Oh boy. How long do you think we'll be down here? What a bunch of pessimists. Going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you? Just checking everyone off the list. Nice haircut, man. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as you go home. Close call, huh? And to think, I thought building the vault in the neighborhood was a bad idea. Yeah, well, we made it. There's not a lot of room in here, though. There's, like, room for eight people. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Decontamination pot, all right. And he just changed in a split second. I wish I could do that. Seems like a pretty cool skill. All right, thank you, Doc. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In. Oh boy. Four. What's going on? Two. One. Are we decontaminated yet? Stasis? Wait a minute. That wasn't part of the deal. This is the one. Here. Wait, that's my wife. Is that a gun? Wait, what are you doing? I'm not giving you shot. What? Hey man, that's my wife. She'll be okay. She'll just sleep it off or something. It's just one gunshot. I've played Fallout. I know that one gunshot is not the end of the world. You know? Yeah, she'll be fine.
Oh, that was the way to open it. All you had to do is just pound your fist on the inside. All right, time to to go. What's up, baby? Let's get out of here. Come on, there has to be a release. That's a release. Press pressure release. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God! Calm down, Lester. She'll be fine. Let's go, baby. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Oh no. It just gave me your wedding ring. She's dead. Oh no. Well, obviously, you know, I I knew that she was dead, but still. Come on. All these people are still in here, but I'm honestly not too sure if they're dead or not. It seems strange that I can get myself out and open my wife's thing, but all the other ones are locked. Oh, there's more of them in here. Look at that. Oh, God. Why would Voltaire do this? Yeah, why would they? Monitoring terminal. What is... Ooh, new jumpsuit. Got some clipboards here, which we certainly won't need. Hammer. Um, alright, so apparently I can't use the hammer as a weapon. I was hoping maybe I could, but no. Oh god, look at this. Let's take him out. This, you just know, looking at this guy, he's ready for some action. Lester never gives up. Alright, Stimpak. Bobby Pin, cigarette carton, obviously. He's been in cryo sleep for we don't know how long, so he, you know, obviously he's just craving a, a few ci cigarettes. There we go. Alright, let's go. Where is everybody? Another baton. What's up, little rat? Red roach. Giant roaches? What the hell? Yeah, those were not around earlier. In our uh, fun little neighborhood. Alright, let's see. Hot plate? Yep. Definitely want to bring that with me. All right. Oh, look at this. This is where people were sleeping. Normal people, I'm guessing. Probably the staff. But they left absolutely nothing, so maybe they're all gone? Eat well, live well. Yeah. All right. That's a... Okay, that's how he died. Yep. Fair enough. What's up, little buddy? What's up, big buddy? There you go. What happened here? Where is everyone? I wonder if this was a uh, a Voltec person or a uh, another occupant of one of these uh, cryo things. I certainly don't need a power attack against a few rat roaches. I know that much. Yeah. Ooh, hello. There we go. We got a pistol now. Is this all that's left? Who's this guy supposed to be? Some glasses. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Yeah, I can't help but wonder what the heck happened. Unless those mysterious people we saw killed everyone in here, but why would they? And why would they all be skeletons by now? It makes no sense. Alright, so we gotta unlock this door. Oh, wait. 
Another pistol. Oh, hello. Nice. Coming back later for you. All right, master lock. That's gonna be very, very tough to pick. We've been in here. All right, let's try and unlock the uh, the door using the terminal. Open the tunnel. Oh, okay. I thought that maybe I'd have to hack it, but apparently that's just not the case. Gotcha. Alright, so gun is definitely easier to use than a, uh... Security, uh... Smash stick. Baton. Alright, I know how to reload guns, are you kidding me? Some of these things are just for people that have never played a video game in their life, I think. Oh god. Am I the only one left? I right, probably. Some more rounds. We got a lot of rounds in here. Look at that. What is this? Oh, there's water down there. That can be good though. I'm pretty sure there's not supposed to be any. Everyone's dead. Everyone is dead. Wait, isn't this? This is the door that was locked earlier. Now it's just open. Probably because I use the computer. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Our very own Pip Boy. And it works. So that's great. All right. So now we can actually um, look through our inventory. Uh, we can wear our, our wedding ring, put on some glasses maybe, uh, eat some red roach meat, even though we don't need to, but yeah. This gives us access to our inventory, our stats, um, such as the one we picked at the start, our perks. We don't have any yet, though. Our quests, which is for now just to get out of here. And a map, which apparently already works. So this is the entire map of Fallout 4. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Also radio, but we have no reception here. All right, let's open the vault door. Open her up. Oh, that's very bright. I just want to say I love the theme for, um, okay, for Fallout 4. It's got a great theme. And here it is, the moment of truth. Back in the elevator. It looks a, a little bit different, though, from when we first came here. All right, so now you get to change your name and your appearance again, but we're fine, so we'll just go. I think this is the first loading screen. So during the loading screen, you'll just see a um, bunch of, you know, gameplay information, tips, stuff like that. It's pretty great. Although I have to say the loading screens are still a bit long, on P even on, P on PC. Um, so I, I, I'm pretty worried about 
console versions. I haven't really seen that yet. It's very bright outside after living underground. Well, not really living, sleeping underground. <gasps> Yeah. Uh, the world looks a little different now than it did when we entered the vault. I wonder what happened. All right, we just, we did see a nuke drop down, but anyway, it looks messed up. But yeah, that is all for part one of Let's Play Fallout 4, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did and you'd like to see me play more Fallout, please consider leaving a like, as that really helps me out, especially on the first part of a series. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.